For the last week or so, we've seen a huge amount of pictures coming out of Turkey, showing police firing rounds of what looks like CS gas and pepper spray into the crowds. It's been happening all over the country as the clashes between protesters and police over the development of Gezi Park and Taksim Square have spread and become much wider anti-government demonstrations. But today we found a new film that seems to suggest that the police could be using CR gas as well, and there's a subtle but important difference between the two. This video emerged showing people being treated in the Dolmabache Mosque in Istanbul. The mosque was turned into a first aid centre after the imam said it could be, and the doctor featured at the beginning of the video says that she's an expert in forensic medicine. She goes on to say that the people who she's been treating have symptoms that wouldn't be associated with pepper spray or CS gas. She says that they're having trouble remembering who they are, are showing signs of agitation and other symptoms which would normally be associated with head trauma. So there are allegations that the Turkish police have been using CR gas instead of the conventional CS gas. It might seem like a small difference, but it would be important. CR gas is around six times more powerful than CS gas. It's thought to be a carcinogen and it can be lethal. In Egypt, before President Mubarak was swept from power, there were allegations that CR gas was being used with people saying it was causing convulsions en masse and treatments for the gases can vary. We should point out that at the moment it's only an allegation being made in this video, but it does highlight the importance of the government and the authorities being transparent. If you are going to fire gas at your own people, they at least have the right to know what it is that's being fired at them. If you want to find out more about what's been happening in Turkey for the last few days and why, there are two annotations on the screen over there, and the links are also in the video description below. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next time.